What's up guys, it is Gigi. I am back and this time I have traveled to Hollywood, California to check out the one and only Super Nintendo World. I will be walking around Super Nintendo World showing you all of the fun things you can do, all of the super cool secrets you can find, and all of the yummy things you can taste here in Hollywood, California. This is everything you see right after you walk through Peach's Castle in Super Mario Land. It is so, so stunning, and you really feel like you just walked through an actual video game. Isn't Peach's Castle just beautiful? Right as we entered Super Nintendo World, we saw Toad, so we decided to hop right in line just so we could meet him. Here are the photos I got with Toad. After meeting Toad, we decided it was time to start collecting coins, earning stamps, and start using our power-up bands. Mind, you will need power-up bands to do pretty much everything in this park, and they are about $43 each. The magic band you choose determines which team you will be on, and you can be on Team Daisy, Luigi, Yoshi, Mario, Toad, or Princess Peach. Obviously, I had to go with Princess Peach because I main as her in pretty much every Mario game. Who will you choose? Let me know in the comments. Once you've purchased your power-up band, you will have to download the Universal Studios Hollywood app if you don't already have it downloaded, and go to the Super Nintendo World section of the app. From there, you can go to Options and press Add Band, and you'll be able to scan the QR code on the back of your band and set up your profile. Select your icon that you'd want to use. I chose this cute little blowing a kiss peach and chose the blue banner background because I just thought it looked nice. And give yourself a cool username and then you can start checking out all the rankings of everyone at the park right now and even in the entire country. To start earning coins, all you have to do is start walking through the land and punching blocks just like this. And to keep track of all your coins, you can go here right in the app and it'll tell you how much you've made overall and just today. You can even earn stamps just by punching blocks, like punching a question mark block, or punching a brick block, and even punching pow blocks. You'll even get a special stamp if you punch every single question mark block in the land, and you earn coins with every stamp you get. After punching a few blocks around the land, we decided to go try and earn a golden key, which you can use in Bowser Jr.'s showdown. You will need three keys to fight against Bowser Jr. We decided to start with Piranha Plant Escape, where you have found yourself locked in the Piranha Plant's bedroom, and you have to quickly turn off all his alarm clocks so he doesn't wake up and catch you. If you do it fast enough and he doesn't wake up, you'll earn a golden key for everyone on your team. After earning our golden key over at the Piranha Plant Escape game, we decided to run on over to the Goomba Crazy Crank game. The goal of this game is to spin the wheel so hard that the Goomba falls over, and if he falls over, you get to collect your key. A fun little easter egg about this game is you can earn a bonus stamp by playing this if you keep cranking after he falls and earn those 5 extra coins. At the end of the video, you'll be able to hear those 5 coin dings. Look at all the stamps you can earn just from playing one of these games. You get a stamp just for playing it, a game for beating it twice, a game for playing on the hardest difficulty, which I will explain the difficulty soon, and also my stamp for playing with a bonus and getting those extra coins at the end. And yes, as I mentioned before, the games do have different difficulties. If you play it once and beat it, it automatically goes into hard mode. But if you play it in hard mode and lose, it goes back to easy mode. You do get extra stamps for winning the games in hard mode. And in my opinion, it's not too hard. After earning a couple keys, we just could not wait any longer, so we hopped right in line for Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge, the apparently the number one new ride at Universal Studios Hollywood. 
I so mean it when I say this guys, this is one of the most beautiful ride queues I have ever been in and witnessed with my own two eyes. Seriously, take your time in this queue. There is so much to see, so many things and references and Easter eggs to the games, all the cups, all the statues, everything. It is seriously so amazing. And you might not even be able to enter the queue more than once, depending on if you're on a busy day or not. So seriously, take your time and take in this gorgeous, gorgeous queue. Now that we're through this beautiful queue, enjoy this full ride through without the AR effects of Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge in Hollywood, California.
isn't that ride so stunning it is even more cool with the ar effects and i wish i had a way to configure that to show you guys with it as well but oh my gosh you have to come out here and experience this ride if you cannot make it to the original in japan this one is so amazing after riding Mario Kart, we decided to do some more exploring around the land because there was still tons we have yet to see. We found these cool binoculars as we were walking around. They're so awesome. They have these AR effects just like Mario Kart where you can zoom into the sky and unlock cool scenes of all the creatures and characters in Mario. And you even earn a stamp for doing so. You'll earn 25 coins just for using the binoculars, not even for finding anything special. And you'll even get extra coins for each cool thing you find. There's Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and Bowser. Can you find them all and earn all the stamps? You'll get 45 coins for each character you find, and if you find them all, you'll even get an extra stamp that earns 100 coins. We decided to go earn our last key to fight Bowser Jr. at the Koopa Troopa Power Punch game. The premise of this game is you have to punch and time each POW block to send that shell up and knock the Koopa Troopa over. Collect your key, and you've now earned your key. After finally earning three keys, we can fight Bowser Jr. in Bowser Jr. Showdown. This queue also is pretty cool and has some interactable things you can do with your power band. Can you find them? I'll show you one right now. You can unlock Bowser Jr.'s toy chest, which earns you a stamp and 45 coins. Look at all these toys. Uh, these look like weapons to me. There's also a secret Bowser block in the queue. Can you find it? We really worked up quite an appetite in Super Nintendo World, so we decided to stop at the Toadstool Cafe and check out all the yummy foods that they have to offer. Right when you enter Toadstool Cafe, you get to unlock a special gift, just like in the game when you enter Toad's house. What will you get? Right when you enter the queue, you are greeted by Chef Toad himself, talking to you through a window that leads right into his personal kitchen. He teaches you about all the yummy foods you can try in hopes that you have a delicious time here at the Toadstool Cafe. I really have to say, this restaurant is so adorably themed and decorated and so immersive. You really feel like you're in Super Mario Land. They even have windows just like the Chef Toad window on the inside of the restaurant where you get to look out into Mario Land, see toads walking around, and even from time to time, Bowser attacks. And you can see it from outside, and he even attacks inside the Toad's kitchen as well just another one of the super immersive and fun things that they have to offer here. All right guys, so we just stopped at the Toadstool Cafe. We are having our breakfast here. I know it's a little weird to have burgers and steak and prime rib for breakfast, but that's what we're having today. And I started off with the lemon superstar squash of Bobo refresher drink. It looks so yummy. It has tons of candy, jelly candy and bobas. Jelly candy on the top and a bunch of popping gobas on the bottom. Let's have a taste. Mm. It's so refreshing. It's very sweeter than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be more kind of like, like a Sprite, like a lemon soda, but it's actually more like a juice and it has like this carbonation in it. It's so, so yummy. This is so refreshing in life. If you love lemon, you would definitely love this. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. To start, we got the Toadstool Cheesy Garlic Knots. These are cute little mushroom-shaped garlic knots topped with Parmesan cheese and garlic herbs. 
They're like mushroom shapes. They're so cute. <laughs> marinara is delicious. The parmesan on top with the garlic herbs. Oh my gosh, these are so good and they're so fluffy and easy to chew. They almost melt in your mouth. I really like these. I'm giving this a 3.5 out of 5, almost a 4. For my first meal, that's right, you heard me correctly, my first meal, I got the kids Mario cheeseburger. All right, and I am trying now the Mario Kids Cheeseburger. Um, this just looks more appetizing to me than the normal Mario burger. I'm just not super into mushrooms and bacon like that. But let's try one of these fries. Mm -hmm. Oh, very well seasoned. I like these fries a lot. They're not the best fries in the world, but I'll give them a three out of five. Let's get into this burger. It comes with a cute little Mario figure on top that you do get to keep, and you also get to keep this little Mario ball. Mm. Very good burger. That lettuce is so delicious. Mm, that's a good piece of lettuce right there very good burger. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. Let's move on to the little corn. Teeny tiny little corn and broccoli. <laughs> mm. The corn is good. There's no butter on it, so it's just corn. It tastes like corn. And with the kids' meals, you get a cute little question block. That comes with like a little cookie coin. How cute is that? Ooh. Hmm. It's just like a little vanilla wafer with tons of white chocolate around it. There's way more white chocolate than there is cookie. Very good, very sweet. Definitely a hit for the kids. This is a 3.5 out of 5. Keegan got the adult sized Mario burger, which comes with a little char broiled mustache and a cute, adorable Mario cap right on top of that bun. It's a burger. It's a burger. It's a burger. I must say, it's good. It's nothing crazy. Um, I'll say three and a half, probably. It's pretty good. So not, nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but it's a good burger. For my second meal, you guys already know, I had to try the Chef Toad's special prime rib. You cannot come to Toadstool's Cafe without getting Toad's Chef Special. Special. This is the prime rib and it comes with a truffle bordeaux sauce, um, mushrooms, and a nice potato puree, aka mashed potatoes, and a little parmesan crisp up top. Let's dig into this. Ooh. Very good, very flavorful. You can definitely taste the truffle and the mushroom over everything else. I really like this, actually. The potatoes are delicious. Mmm. Let's try this little parmesan here. <laughs> oh, it's breaking apart. Very good. I get the chef special, a 
three out of five. For dessert, we decided to share the Mount Bean Pull Cake. This is an Italian cookie cake with chocolate, vanilla, strawberry creams, and topped with a matcha mousse and a white chocolate star. Okay, and for dessert, we got the Mount Bean Pull Cake. This has matcha, vanilla cake, a vanilla cream, strawberry cream, and a chocolate mousse. This by far looks like the yummiest dessert to me, so I'm super, super excited to dig into this. And it also comes with a little white chocolate on top. Oh. <laughs> oh wow, that's sticky. <laughs> it's hard to get. Mm. This is a very good cake. It's very light and airy and it's like a whip cream mousse that's the filling and the matcha on the top. It's a very yummy blend of flavors and nothing really overpowers the other. They, they work very well together. You did a good job with this dessert, Nintendo. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely stuffed from this food and exhausted from running around Nintendo land. Thank you guys so much for having fun with me today. I had so much fun making this video. Let me know in the comments below what other really fun immersive lands you'd like me to go check out and make videos on. Again, I will see you in my next adventure and my next travels, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Let me know next time you're going to go see Super Mario Land in the comments below.